welcome <laughs> to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for being here so today i'm with tashi hello <laughs> please introduce yourself so my name is tashi tashi okalo mm -hmm. i'm a fashion designer fashion blogger um youtuber yes yes i think that's it. and you're, you're a t graduate <laughs> but you're also a computer science oh yes so IT Hello. graduate, computer science and information systems somewhere. Yes. So, <laughs> so guys, today is another Work It Wednesday. So I have a series where I bring women who inspire me like through their businesses or through their careers or mm. through what they're doing in life or having it all together, whatever it is. Okay, but I feel like mine is just all over the place. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're doing something good. For you to be on this couch, you're doing something mm -hmm. good. So Tashi has a fashion line called style tech and she's actually actually Tashi, show stand up and show guys that you're wearing style tech okay, man I, I, I don't want people to like i don't know if the camera will should i go that way what do you mean because <laughs> how else will they see maybe you stand on the couch like, you know? <laughs> okay so you can see your pants so they're like just like pants that you see you sewed oh you then I, yeah i just put like this suspender things on them i don't know what to call them uh-huh yeah so you you're the one who um yeah i'm the one who stitched it who so sewed it who sewed it who designed it made the pattern cut it out sewed it yes so now <laughs> so we're here today to talk about your businesses she has two of them which is the fashion design and then the blogging aspect of you know the blogging youtube everything aspect yeah. i'm gonna link her channel down below so you guys can have a look at it but tashi so have you always been into fashion like all your life has it been something that has been part and parcel yeah i think so I, like i've always loved fashion like a lot mm -hmm. even when i was like a baby like you could always tell the difference between like my sisters and me mm -hmm. when immediately my mom started like dressing us because they yeah. would just be like wearing like you know, just whatever the fashion they can get and yeah. me i'm trying my the most to just tie things together to make it look a bit fancier so yeah but then it was not that serious and like i never thought i'd actually pursue it mm -hmm. until maybe like high school yeah when i i really i really enjoyed home science and i think i did it for like one year and yeah, that was enough to teach you to sew I'm no like, no okay. like, i only knew like the basics because we, we did like we made like an apron in yeah the, yeah i remember i remember yeah, yeah i remember uh-huh yeah so after that I, I just really got into sewing and stuff mm -hmm. and then i wanted to do home science like to choose home science the next year my okay. parents were like no they told me to, to pick physics okay because also because my tutor had advised them that i should not i'm wasting time doing home science as opposed to doing physics i i i, I get a bit pissed off by the <laughs> that you yeah. can only be a doctor a one on one word when maybe your passion would have probably taken you further than that's what I, that's what sometimes i think but yeah. anyway <clears throat> so uh i did physics then I came to then I then I was in high school. Then I came to Cape Town mm. to do my matric year, and then I that's when I really fell in love with fashion because there was such a big fashion community, yes. and I could dress how I wanted. I was not like limited to uniform to school. I could just express myself in any way without anyone asking and, anything. And, and, like in Cape Town, you can also dress anyhow without people uh, looking at you. Or, shaming yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I just fell in love with it. Then I found out about Fashion Week and fashion shows, and I was just like, this there's a whole world out here. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you yeah. enjoy those fashion shows so much. It's like just, it's, yeah. I like really like the one that I went for, I, 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 I think I was more confused than interested. Because <laughs> I went for the one that was happening in Cape Town. What was it called? Yeah, then I met you that the Soul Trivia one. So yes, I was so I think, confused. Yeah, that was I think Mercedes Benz fashion. Mercedes Benz mm. fashion week. I was so confused, but I feel like there's a whole world out there. Yeah, it's like, so large. It's just not from the designers mm. to the fashion buyers to the models to the photographers to mm. the content creators. It's mm. very different. I mean, the fact that we are both bloggers and we go for events, but the events that we go for are so it's, that's so true. Different. That's so true. <laughs> Because of the fact that you're doing fashion and me, I'm doing something. Yeah, that's out of the time. You and everyone I bring them shit to my events is like, you, you fashion people are too crazy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for me, I go for like beauty things where we're in a stall, you know, putting on like face masks. <laughs> and then you find me at the wellness warehouse. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. So so it's always been something. But okay, it's always been a part of you. But at what point did you decide that you wanted to become a business? um like okay <laughs> that's a funny story end of second year mm -hmm. 
I, I went back home to Kenya yeah and I had just like was it end of second year end of end of first year going to second year okay so I was back in Kenya and I had that year I think I had lost like two phones just like carelessly mm -hmm. and I went back home and I got a new phone in the beginning of December holidays by the end of the December holidays the phone was lost on New Year's Day and my mom was like well, I'm not buying a new phone again <laughs> And then it was like a month for me to come back to Cape Town. <laughs> so I started like a business where I was selling like pillows and stuff. Yes, I remember. But before that, I had asked my mom to buy me a sewing machine for my birthday just okay. because I really wanted to start practicing. Not to, at that point, it wasn't really like a business idea yet. I just yeah. wanted to learn how to for, for, just for myself, for fun. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's when it started. That's when the business started. But it, the, yeah, it, but it didn't go on. Like after that, I got the money, I got the phone, I left. But I, I feel like you need to continue the pillowcases. I, I love them. Like right I, now, I need my house's pillowcase. Like, and you know, and but you know, that's actually one of the things. Because every week I have like different projects I'm working on. Yes. So it's coming. They're actually coming. Because even me, I need new pillows for yes. my for so my new place. Way, yeah, that would be very interesting. Mm. So do you feel like your blog accelerated static? Do you think it helped it get to where it was like? Yes. Mm, yeah, I th I think it did. Mm -hmm. Just because my blog gave me a lot of access yes. to like the industry, mm -hmm. so I managed to like actually I'm already part of the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. I was already part of the fashion industry before I became a designer through yes. my blog. Yes. So as, an, as a yeah. as a media yeah. as a blogger, fashion yes, blogger. Yes, so yes. it's already like. Like I know the, the like various designers in the industry, I know various photographers, I know various influencers, all who can help me. Yes. Like just with like um right, um growing this business okay, as well. Okay. Um. So what have the struggles of starting the business been? Ooh, money, 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 money. Gosh, capital. Yeah. Like especially because I started it like beginning of last year when I officially launched it. Like mm -hmm. seriously, I was mm -hmm. like, let's do this. Mm -hmm. I was a student, I didn't have a job, guys. I was like on a student salary and I was at that time I was doing a bit more blog work. Yes. So I was at least getting a bit a of few money from the blog yeah, work, which yes. would just go straight into the fashion design thing, but it was yes. not enough. Yes. And then I think I just like lost I was just I became kind of defeated at a point because I was just like, you know what, let me just actually this thing is stressing me out too much. Let me get my degree first. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like stopped I posed on it for a while. Mm -hmm just to deal with school mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and then i came then towards the end of the year i was like okay fine i, I saw things were like picking up yeah I, I tried again and then yeah i don't know it's just been like a whole but money has been the main thing money capital yeah um you were part of the oh yeah the truots fashion yes, truots. entrepreneurship that. incubation program that. <laughs> that was cool like that was around september mm, july july mm -hmm. to october mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. And I had just gone back to Kenya for the holidays yes. and then I was applying for just new things because I just didn't know what this year because now I was just like holy shit so one semester left I don't know what I'm doing this year at all sorry for cussing <laughs> so I started applying for many opportunities then I found this one online yes. just you know the way you're scrolling online because yes. I'm you're seeing retweets from bloggers because yes. I'm a blogger and then I saw this opportunity mm. I think it's Danusha posted it no, she's not on the She just shared and posted that she uh, shared to okay. me. I, I think I saw it on she her timeline. Oh, she also shared it on her timeline. Yeah, because when I saw when you told me about it, I was like, oh, the one that she. Oh, yeah. Okay, I okay. So I only saw the one like she said. I think she now put it on her timeline and then she yes. said it like personally okay. to okay. me. Okay. Uh huh. And then I also saw another friend of mine called Misa, she's a photographer, mm -hmm. she also retweeted it and stuff. Ah, okay. So then I was like, okay, what's this? I, I'm seeing Truots is a big name, so let me see what they're trying to do for yeah. fashion entrepreneurs. Yes. Oh, we had to feel like a very long application, dude, it was so hectic. They asked so many details, you know, and so that's, many that's stories. That's one way to get me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I spent like, you're maybe like a day or more mm -hmm. filling it out. So this is while you're still in Kenya? Well, I'm in Kenya. Okay. And then they told me they would contact us back in like two weeks time. Mm -hmm. In two weeks time, I, I, I was told that I'd been short, short listed, short listed yes. I think to around, I can't remember, like 45 or something, mm -hmm. out of like 200 and something. Then we were supposed to all like um, have like a, so not, oh, so not from those 45, we're going to be shortlisted again to 35. Yes. <laughs> but we had to go through like some sort of short some online training, class yes. and something some training online mm. and then they wanted to see that have you attended um then they wanted us to like present 
a PowerPoint presentation of our fight, like initial pitch mm. to like pitch your business to them. I wish I had not, I'd not done in my whole entire life. I didn't even know what a pitch was. <laughs> Like, now yes. you know. I was there like <laughs> now researching. Oh my gosh. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I did it. I was back home in Kenya when I did it. I, and then I was working on like new stuff. Oh, that's when I was launching my men's wear line. Mm -hmm. So I made sure I did a photo shoot mm -hmm. before I left with Phoebe. Yes. So that I can include Phoebe some of those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So that I can include some of those photos mm -hmm. in my pitch so that they can see that you see this chick is actually doing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did, and then yeah, I got into the top 35. I was told you have to be in Cape Town on this and this date to attend some the pitching session, the live one now. Mm. Which she has posted on her social media. Yeah, IGTV, IGTV, IGTV is there. Yes. So I just Can I, follow her on Instagram. So <laughs> Insta <you can> everything. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so yeah, um, I just I called my mom. She's not in the country. I was like, mommy, you need to change my flight. I need to be in Cape Town like in a few days. Mm -hmm. She did. So, so I only, actually that holiday, I think I only saw my mom for a maximum of like four days. Wow. So I had been like missing her so much, you know. It was just, cause I think she only came to visit me in April. Yes. For a week. Mm. I didn't see her until like now December vibes. Mm, mm, mm. So she came for like a day. I saw her, we had, she was like, okay, baby, go do this. Okay, cool. Came back. Then like two days later, I was like pitching to the towards team. Mm. And then I got into the top 20. So now... They shortlisted, shortlisted us again to now the top 20 who'd be going through the three month program. Yes. Yeah, so that was really amazing. So like you finished the three month program? Okay? Yeah. Finished, and then after that, what happens? They had to pick now 10 more mm -hmm. to progress onto the next phase, which is like a mentorship phase where you get a mentor oh. and a sum of money to help grow your business. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't get the money, <laughs> unfortunately. But I, I'm still in the mentorship program. Oh, really? Mm. So why didn't you get the money? Because I'm Kenyan. What? Yeah, and like they're not allowed because of the BEE -E Act, they're not allowed to like sponsor me that money. What? Yeah. Now you know. Like, <laughs> now you yeah. know. And apparently, I was one of their favorites. Yeah. I mean, okay. So even if you had a permanent residency, they would not have been able to. I think if I had a permanent residency, because that that means I'm a citizen. No, it doesn't. It just means you're permanent residency. But then you have an ID. Yeah, you do have an ID. But you can't vote, yeah. No, you can't vote. Yeah. Wow, that's that's interesting. Yeah. So your biggest issue has been capital. And yeah. And being a foreigner is so difficult because I, I don't have like a stable place. <laughs> sometimes I'm in Kenya. Like yeah, sometimes I'm in Kenya, yes. sometimes I'm in South Africa. Mm. So sometimes mm. Kenyan customers want to order but I'm in South Africa. Yes. And deliveries are still I'm still even sorting that that part out, you know. So it's just yeah. It's it's a bit unstable. Yes, actually, it's good that you talked about that because how has it been starting the company as a foreigner? Like, has it been simple? No. Have, have South Africans accepted you? Have, you know, like, accepted, I mean, have they been able to embrace your product? And I think they have. I think, actually, right now, I'm getting much more love from South Africans about my work. Like, they're okay. so amazed mm -hmm. more than Kenyans because I think maybe Kenyans are looking Kenyans used to seeing, seeing this, this fabric. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. So the love is there, especially in the fashion industry. I I, all, I always feel when I go for these events, they praise me so much. I always feel like, oh my god, like then just maybe do it focus on you know, here and that's that, that's what I'm saying. But then at the same time, the whole the way the government and the whole system in South Africa is set up is just set up not to really favor international Africans. Is it? Like we're not like for me, I, was, I couldn't even register my company here yes. with my Kenyan ID yeah. without partnering with a South African. Yeah. I had to. But somebody who has a permanent residency, then they can do that. Okay. Yeah, because okay. they are they're termed as a citizen, a citizen in the business sense. Okay. That's that's hard and harsh. Um, But in terms of one year, like, so we're going to assume that you launched a company the January, it was January of last year. Yeah. Have you seen any growth? My, like a lot of growth. Like, I know I'm talking about all the terrible things, the struggles. Yes. yes. But there's been so much that has, like, dude, my customers have doubled. Mm -hmm. Now, like, as, the more I keep sharing that I'm working on my fashion thing, yes. the more people keep asking me and inquiring and mm. a, a few more orders. Like, I'm partnering now with, like, some musicians to dress them for, oh, like, yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. mm. So, there's, at least the word is now spreading, and yeah. I really want to focus on, like, spreading the word. But at the same time, mm -hmm. it's just, like, I can't keep spreading. The, I need to be making sales as well. Yes. And not too many people are buying, especially on, a lot of people are buying through me and, like, through, like, 
DMs and stuff. Well, I want people to be shopping online because it's. I'm just trying to also like improve, make it more efficient. But you know, um, I don't know if you watched my video, the one that I was doing with um, Lorraine. I don't know if you watched down to how to start a business. No, I didn't. You need to go watch it. One of the things she said is if something is working for you, if word of mouth is working for you, yeah. go that direction. Yeah. She's built her business. She does not have an online shop mm. because she didn't feel that there was that was her customer range. Maybe um, you're trying to force people like me to go online shopping and I just want to meet with you. True, true. You see? True, yeah. So maybe embrace the fact that they're buying by a DM. It's yeah. frustrating. Yeah. But you so, know, we also, that's yeah. why I, want, I really want to get into like retail marketing because for me, I, to be honest, I don't have the time to be meeting people like all I the understand. time. I understand. It must be difficult. Yeah. But um, another thing, go with, that video really is very informative. Mm. One of the things she actually said is, hire people mm, you mm. might not have the money now but you can get a student who's in fashion okay school, yeah do that's measurements true. and stuff that's for you. True. sorry i don't know where we cut off but what, mm. is, what is next for style tech? um i think right now what i'm working on right now is first of all working on my autumn winter collection okay that's why i'm focusing on a lot more pants mm -hmm. and like coats and stuff mm -hmm. um and at the same time i want to start working with um a number of influencers some mm -hmm. of whom have already contacted some i'm still yet to contact okay just to to start telling them to spread the word about my product before autumn winter comes out okay so i already know what i'm going to like send out to them mm -hmm. i just need it's just like finances for like manufacture like there's just finances the finances that i need to mm -hmm. just do everything Okay, but finance is a tough one. Like, that's what I'm really like I already know, I, I, like I've already made stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is just chilling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's the, the, so you literally make your stuff by hand. No, I have a tailor who makes my client stuff, so I only make my own stuff by ah, hand. Ah, a tailor here in South Africa. As, yeah, no, that's what we learned through the um, yes, yeah, how to get through, through us, stuff. Yeah. So it's not actually a tailor. They're called CMTs. They're like cut, make, trim manufacturing companies. Mm. That cheaper than tailors. That's very interesting. I am learning something. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So what is your like? At what point in style tech life would you be like? You know what? I made it, Mama. I made it. Um. When um. First of all, profitable. Just like can mm. we just start from the basics? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then number two, I really want to participate in like. Your New York Fashion Week. That's a that's a that's a goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be like my. I would be like I've made it. Do you think it's going? Do you think like in the next five years we'll be in Cape Town Fashion Week already? Not even in less in less. less. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I will be sure to vlog it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely in less than in less. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Do you ever plan on getting into employment? Are you interested in employment or do you just want to be a business person? Okay. Um, I'm actually interested in employment. No, to be honest, okay, I think my ultimate goal would just to be doing my own thing, to be a business person. Yes. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah. But currently, where I'm in life, I actually want to be employed. Yes. Firstly, because I need the extra capital, like to live mm -hmm. <laughs> the bare minimum and you, also you need to put food on the table yeah yes. and also to fund my business as well yeah. like i could be investing some of my salary into growing style tech mm -hmm. and third of all just to learn how our work space should work yeah i, I agree with you and um, how to you know employees and controlling th that whole like office environment yes how it works yes. also how to be more disciplined because right now straight after school Start just doing your own thing. Hey, you have to be. It's so difficult. You get so I mean, distracted. People like Jonah, can you be able to do it? True, but like uh, uh, well, people are different. Also, yeah, people are different. Yeah. <laughs> May have so many different like um, different things I wanna do. I easily get distracted like so quickly. Like okay, okay. I can't focus on one thing. Like it has to be like timed. Otherwise, I'll just I want to jump from this. So you want to them. get that discipline? Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you, so let's assume you had maybe all through your degree had done an internship where you're working for people. Yeah. And then somebody comes and tells you, hey, he's at one million rand for your business. Would you still go and get into employment? No. Because? But I, I don't know, to be honest. 
the only good thing about employment is the is the stable income. Yeah. The stable because so. if I if I if I if I got one million rand to just for my business alone mm -hmm. and someone okay but then the thing is someone who's paying my rent at least some money needs to be coming in but for my rent. But if you're being given uh, if you're given one million rand and you're able to break even then that means you can pay yourself a salary. That's true. Yeah. Imagine I don't think I would. I don't think I'll go into employment just because at the end of the day I really like doing my own thing. I really like sense. doing my own thing. Makes sense, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Mm. So what have you learned from having the business? Like what lessons? Hey, what lessons so have you learned? Much. And what lessons would you like to give my people here? What lessons have I learned? Mm. Hey, not to give up. <laughs> Patience, I'm telling you my friends. Because you want to give up so many like it's so easy to give up. Yeah, it's so easy it to is, just quit. Hey, like I've thought about it so many times, honestly. Mm -hmm. But now if you give up all that effort and time, and <laughs> you just the then and just thing. just going into employment. I don't know, but that would be I'll be so depressed if I did that. Imagine having to wake up every day and <sighs> me I don't like that vibe. Like I can wake up in the morning, but then I want to do, do my thing. Like I, just, I don't like following. Like you want to push your dream. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so what what other mm -hmm. thing have I learned? I've learned. <sighs> Um, discipline also, yeah. It's taught you to be disciplined. Mm. In a bit of this because the thing is sometimes you have because I give myself targets like per week you have mm -hmm. to have had two new things that mm -hmm. you've made, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and at the same time you still need to be like doing social media stuff like you know uploading your yes, videos yes, and all yes, of that yes, stuff. Yes, yes. And then if there are any client orders, I need to take them to the CMT, mm. make sure that the CMT has completed any time, take measurements, go deliver, pick pick them up and. Mm. Yeah, so you have to be like, you have to set targets for every single day, otherwise mm. there's no, like, I'm still so bad at it, <laughs> but I'm learning slowly, at least every day I'm a bit more disciplined than the previous day. But yeah, that's also what I've And had. what would advice would you give? Like, not that typical advice, but what advice would you give? Like, specific to fashion? Um, no, general, because I feel like business is business, fashion, selling school, my wiki, same thing. Okay. But what advice would you give to people, like... Trying to start, yes. Apart from not giving up, that one is key. And uh, yeah, and just people will say just start, but I'm just like, yeah. sometimes just starting is just like um, yeah, actually just start, mm. just start. Because uh -huh, for me, I didn't have but, anything when I was starting. Honestly, all I had was like okay, no, I did have something. Let me not be, let me not say that. I had at least I had a sewing machine, you know, <laughs> and, and a camera, and a camera, and a, vlog, yeah. and a platform. You had a lot, yeah. I feel compared because you know there are people who have to start their business from scratch, from, from scratch, scratch to social media, so, from scratch, yeah, you know, everything from scratch. Yeah, so you did have a bit yeah. of something. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's um, just what other advice should I give you? Um, don't expect. I don't know. Support. Don't feel entitled to support from people because you won't get it. You'll be so disappointed. Yeah. And it'll make you want to quit. You know, I was um, I, we were discussing yesterday with my fiance about um, of people on Instagram. I mean, my YouTube followers. Yeah. And we were talking about I don't know the first two hundred. Well, he, now he, his assumption was all oh, like the first two hundred is really your friends and family. And I was like, no, but I, the first two hundred of people I did not know. And then now, when people are seeing like, okay, she's feeling momentum, mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow you now. Your and that's what I, let me tell you something. You. Let me the people who support me the most. Let me tell you the people who have become my closest friends just through the support they've given me are people who, like, I just no, met no, through no, in no, the in, in the industry. I, it's not like a tea, though, I'm like, and I, lo I have a lot of close friends in this industry, like mm -hmm. so many close friends. But the ones who actually really help me are people who I've met in this industry, not people who I knew from before. Yeah, I think for me that was the hardest lesson I had to learn because sometimes you feel entitled. Like, yeah, you feel yeah. entitled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you are with him. So yeah. like, can you please read my stuff? And but then you just come to realize it. Don't feel entitled because yeah. no one actually cares. Let me tell you, that's what I learned. People True. don't care. True. They actually just don't care. They have their own things to do. Everybody's minding. But then Everybody's once minding. you start shining, that's when they want to get in get a slice of yeah, it and yeah, get in there. Yeah. Which is just like I just smile to everyone, but you have to really be careful about who you trust. Especially like even in business. Especially like partnering and doing that business. shit. Don't just partner with your friends because they're your friends. Um one one of my friends was telling me like because I had an opportunity to partner with somebody. And mm. the first thing she asked me is, for a partnership, you have to think of it like a marriage. Are you ready to be married to that person? 
are you ready for the time that when it comes and you have to divorce this person in terms of business because the fact right contracts also those contracts at the end of the day yeah this, in as much as you might want to follow them friendships are lost yeah that's Trust so true. lost that's so true you're frustrated yeah so you you have a partner yeah i have a partner who's mm -hmm. actually also my friend mm -hmm. she's called ati mm -hmm. zilungile mm -hmm. Um, so we lived together for like a year. We're like really really close okay. And I just felt like from all like the friends I have I, I had around me mm -hmm. She was like the only one who was like helping me so much with the fashion thing Like she would see my drive and she would be like, okay, Tishi, let me take you photos or Tishi, Let me model for that for you or Tishi, mm -hmm. Let's go deliver mm -hmm. this together. Tishi, you should do this for your social media She was, like she was spreading word about my stuff to just her family telling them to check out my like she was really on it Yeah so when I found out that I had to partner with someone, like the first one who like directly came, came to your mind, mind was Ati. Yeah. yeah. Just because I knew also she's a black woman in yes. South Africa and I'm yes. like that's what I want my business to be about. Yeah. I want it to be black and African owned. Yeah. So yeah, I talked about it a lot with my mom, I talked about it a lot with my program manager for the truest thing yes. last year. Yes. She told me what you're telling me, like, are you ready for this? Yes. Don't just partner with someone because they're your friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, I thought about it. And it, I, th I think I've still made a good decision. So I asked her about <clears> it and she was like so willing. We had like a photo shoot together last year, like launching our partnership. Yes. Yeah, and she's been helping a lot. So she does like handles like the finances and all that stuff. Cause she's like, the, she's an accountant. Oh wow, accountant. that's good. And so are you paying so tax and stuff? Dude, yeah, we're supposed to, but not, for now we're not. Okay, shit. But like, no, you're not because you have to have a turnover for today. Yeah, yeah. So, unless you have so, a turnover. No, it's not, now. not yet, not yet. But so yeah. for this, for because the, the I think the year end is January. Yes. So we're not going to pay tax in January because we've not made like anything so yeah substantial according to the government. But then you still need to provide like some reports or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wow. So she works on like those reports and all those things. That's that's a part of business that I'm scared of. Yeah, it's so hectic, dude. Ah, I did I, those accounting things and I did not like them at I all. I know, I know, I know. Those things are not. You did it for your business? No, for school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It just makes school. you do so many. Things. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Starts. Those those things. Mm -mm. They're not fun. Yeah. Like okay. Mm -hmm. So mm. anything else you want to add on? I think I said. A lot. I don't know what else to add, guys. Maybe. Check out my page. Yes. Check out my online store. Check out my. I have, I have an Instagram page for my design, just because I want to like also make it easier for people who just want to order through DM, just to order through DM. Okay. So that page is just for my designs and the prices and yeah. details about it. Okay. So I'll put all her details. Some of them here. I'll put her page since I'm already showing her page page now i'm showing you her business page okay yeah and then now you can dm you can go on her online shop where you can see whatever design she yeah. has how are you able to find out people's sorry sizes yes there's an option to put in your sizes like if your size 32 okay. if your size 31 like what, whatever your sizes are for like pants yes, yes 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 oh okay now you know that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember those things I had to had code them. It was not it was not fun, guys. And she like, created her own website. It was a lot of work. people don't understand. It was a lot of work. Yeah. And even just putting up a product, there's so many things you have to put in mm -hmm. for one product so people can choose easily. Wow. Mm. But you you were able to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us this advice. Oh, last question: Is business easy? Is it the easy way out? No. There you go. It's the <laughs> hardest. Eh. Like I know some of my friends who are in employment and they're literally just earning a sweet salary and living their best lives, dude. And you choose the broke one. <laughs> I'm the broke girl. And I look I, I look so rich, but I'm always my wallet is always empty, guys. <laughs> but also like I think also when you look like presentable and like people yes. also respect you more. Yes, yes. Even if there's nothing in your wallet. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tishi, for your Thanks time for having and for your me. advice. Finally, the hey, at least guys, we've actually turned. Okay, remember the last video we, we filmed? We were in. <laughs> I think what it, dude, this was a long time ago. That I was using oh my god, I was using my phone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. using my phone, and then because my phone, my, my speakers were going crazy, we had to use like oh, yeah. this microphone, and we're holding the microphone here. <laughs> I remember. And now we have a camera with a stand. <laughs> really improved. Yeah. 
thank you so much for coming on my channel You're and welcome. yeah it's really been a pleasure to please talk. please 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 follow her online store order something from her whether in kenya or in even if you're just ordering an accessory because now that i'm trying to actually just show them that bag of yours yeah, it's just a simple tote bag actually when i do like a what's in my bag video for youtube yes where i'm showing them what's in like my style tech bag look at that it's so perfect for summer okay girl <laughs> It goes with my outfit. Maybe you just oh yeah. So I, I wore this with like a black look. It goes with my outfit. The other day and it looked so nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, maybe you just leave that for me. Anyway, guys, we're about to run out of space and time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, bye bye.